Hello everybody, welcome back to the Grand Slam and welcome back specifically to Dunkirk. We've got a big game ahead of us today as we take on fifth placed Ajaccio in the French Ligue 2. Uh, no real team news to uh, tell you about since we're picking up directly after the last game that we played where we beat Toulouse by two goals to nil. A classic performance for the ages. Uh, I have gone into uh, the player numbers... And I have, if I can edit squad number, I have changed things around so that the squad numbers make a little bit more sense. Uh, Sissoko picking up the number two jersey. Van Balachem picking up the number four. Uh, Hassan now sporting the 11 shirt. Diara getting number nine. And uh, Troy Parrott, the heir apparent to the number 14 shirt. Everyone else pretty much getting what they're given. Uh, but all of those squad numbers will make sense now. And uh, as you can see, if I go back into edit squad number, we have a squad of 26 players. A few of those like uh, Loredan and Vanoy, very much players that are going to be here long term. They're the future of the team. And certainly not players that I would expect to play too many games for us. We do, of course, ha already have uh, three centre-backs who can play in the position and uh, I think Van Balahem can uh, cover that position as well but I would expect to see Cissé and uh, and Kouagba play most of the day of the games uh, at centre-back with uh, Kabamba Kalonji playing a few games as well since he looks like a pretty good prospect. Uh, now uh, we've already gone through all of the transfers in the last episode. We don't need to do that. So we can get straight into the game. As I mentioned, it's against Ajaccio and uh, it's away from home, which is going to make it even harder for us. You can see we're still uh, def by default using that 4-4-2 formation. Uh, looks like Ajaccio will be playing the 4-4-2 as well. I think we will actually just immediately load that defensive formation that worked so well for us last time out. And uh, we'll have to make one or two slight changes to uh, make the best of that. Uh, Hassan and uh, Sarnoon on the right and left wings, respectively. Not going to expect that to change. Uh, Boudaud, I think, will play in attacking midfield behind Diara. And uh, we do have Harrington available to us now, of course. We signed him uh, right at the end of the transfer window from the youth team. Uh, perhaps we get him on the bench. We'll put him on there in the place of Pierre. And uh, that will mean that we have a bench of Tiam who can cover left back, right back and centre back. Van Balahem, who, as suspected, can play centre back as well as in, mid in midfield. In fact, centre back is one of his preferred positions, strangely enough. Uh, Karouche and Harrington make up the rest of the midfield options. And uh, then we have uh, Chakunte, Troy Parrott and Rochito making up the bench. Uh, Brunil makes it into the starting lineup, Or does he? Because I think that probably Van Balahem, we should be playing our best players today. Uh, yeah, that looks to me like a pretty decent starting lineup. So that's what we're going to go with. We know the kits don't clash. Red versus blue with white in both. So let's kick off and get into the game today. Uh, so happy Monday, everybody. I hope that uh, the weekend treated you well. Um, I am probably going to be able to keep putting videos out, but uh, i got a new job. And as a result, my free time is going to be severely impaired. I'm going to continue to try to put out weekly videos for you at 10.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. But if there are gaps in the schedule, then I apologise ahead of time. And uh, this is the explainer as to why. So we're uh, all lined up, ready to start the game here at Ajaccio. It's a lovely looking European second division style stadium, this, with the fencing all around, which as an English football fan, not necessarily too pleased to see that. Uh, it's a bit of a, a safety issue. Hillsborough, of course, is, uh, even after all these years, still fairly fresh in supporters' minds where it comes to uh, footballing disasters. But uh, let's get on to a happier note. Here's Sarnoon on the left-hand side of the pitch, plays it into Koteni. Now to Van Belahen. Out to Hassan. The horseshoe of death apparently becoming... Uh, Fairly clear. Back out to Sarnoon. No penetration for us, really. The problem is with this formation, 
we don't have that penetration that you need to let's try and force something we tried to put one over the top for Boudel didn't really work for us that's a lovely ball into Hassan can he get down the wing and pop one into the middle he can here's Boudel takes it on the first touch and Leroy a comfortable save in the end the shot really nowhere near what it wanted to be or needed to be in order to test the Ajaccio keeper now, ball over the top, Sai will intercept it, heads it down into the path of Sarnoon. Oh, Bordeaux just about getting it back. Here's Sarnoon, Diara making a good run. Sai is not going to get to that, it's intercepted. Oh, he does do a good job of blocking off the pass, though. Wins the ball, here's Diara, he might have a chance in on goal here. Oh dear, oh dear, no, he just couldn't quite get the ball right. Couldn't get the shot away and uh, we might well rue that chance going begging here's Hassan back out to Van Bellahem into Hassan again he might have a crack here you know no Boudaud through ball into Van Bellahem can he score no he can't is the answer but we're looking very very dangerous it has to be said here's Hassan back inside Van Bellahem Sanun. Nobody on the overlap, so he looks back to Van Bellahem. San once more. Gonna look to outpace his man and he gets taken out. It's gonna be a free kick. This could be a yellow card. And it is indeed a yellow card for the Ajacio left back. Yeah, I'll have to be careful now. Hassan's pace and trickery is going to cause him all kinds of trouble for the remainder of this game as he you see the replay there he went in hard and unfortunately for him unfair and Lekouche a little bit of trouble now so Sanun with the free kick from the right wing area he'll look to curl this in towards goal if he can and one of the strikers will look to get on top of it and Goudaud doing his best to get there couldn't quite manage it his sight and there's another tackle which takes a man out but we win the throw in referee said it wasn't a foul anyway it's Sarnoon back to Boudaud out to Sai oh first touch not good from Sai looks to knock one in for Diara anyway very nearly managed it here's Boudaud back to Sarnoon again into Sai can he find the cross Diara looking for it and it misses everybody and goes behind for a goal kick uh, once again, you have to ask, really, which team is the team in fifth place in this game? Because on the evidence of what we've seen so far, you would say Dunkirk are the better side here. But maybe Ajaccio can make something of that now. Izendai looks to get the ball in. Gateni does a good job of intercepting it. Sanu, this is a really risky clearance. Dai to Kalulu central to Oko Maraval with a good solid save clutches it deep to his chest never any danger of him spilling that one now Van Balahem to Goteni lovely ball into Sarnoon he manages to wrest possession from the the right midfielder looked to play it in came off the defender and uh, played all the way back to Kalulu that's a very strange pass and now locked forward Kuteni looking to challenge for the ball in the air and Dai picks it up on the right hand side it's into Diara and now Hassan can we make something of this attack oh no the ball wasn't right for Diara it's a shame because it was a good chance to make something of it. It's Boudaud, knocks it out towards Sanun. Loses possession though. And Dai to uh, Oko. Plays the ball all the way back now to uh, the, the fullback. Eventually it falls to sight. Here's uh, Sanun. Can he keep his man away? He can. It's going to be an early cross into the box. Diara underneath it. And Balahem to challenge in the air. Sanun 
runs on when really he should have tracked the movement of the ball. Does a very good job of winning that there. You can see why he's considered to be the backup left back for this team. And there's the half-time whistle. It's nil-nil at half-time, but I'll be honest, I'll take it. Done very well in that first half. I think possibly we could do with becoming slightly more attacking, if anything. Our defence is still slightly suspect when put under pressure, so don't necessarily want to overcommit to an attacking strategy quite yet. But that being said, we are looking good value for the draw right now. It's Sissoko down the line to Hassan. Inside to Kuamba. Sorry, Kuagba. Back to Hassan again. Looking for the cross. In it comes. Diara underneath it. Couldn't get anything on it. I think maybe Chikunte might be the better option for this tactic. Oh, nearly for Boudoud. He looked to just turn it round the corner for Diara. Sight up in the air, a looping ball. It's punched by the goalkeeper. Diara was offside anyway. And it's going to be a free kick midway inside the penalty area for Ajacio and Leroy. Leroy pumps it up the pitch. Kateni into Diara. Oh, it's a good ball into Boudoud. Here's Diara. Oh, I can't find the pass for Sanun. It's a shame because once again, the promise is there. It's just finding that final ball. Here's Van Bellahem into Hassan. Oh, not the pass we were looking for. Not the pass at all. Would have liked to play it into uh, Diara if possible. Now, Quartet to Oko. Sissoko should clean this one up. Dinks it over for Hassan. That's a lovely ball for Hassan. Here's Van Balahem into Goteni. Now Boudoud. Looking for Diara. Could find him. And just missing out. Now Leroy to distribute the ball that he just took off of the toes of the striker. Here's Sanun looking to win the header. Does do. Goteni to Cisse. That's a loose ball from Cisse. And Bellahem's back to try to win the ball. Is uh, Lassie over the top looking for Cisse? Goteni to Diara. Goteni again. Oh, nearly. It's worked well for him, though. Is Boudoud looking for Diara? Trying to win the ball off his man. Can't quite manage it. It's just looking a little bit laboured in that final third for Dunkirk. They could use a couple more bodies in there. Now Sai having to do some defending. Ball into Diara. Oh, Sarnoon has the ball taken off of him. Thing looking a little bit stretched and a little bit leggy now. Cisse heads it clear. Here's Van Balahem to Diara. One touch pass out to Hassan. Looking for Diara again. This is promising. Oh, it just breaks down at the last minute. Worst possible moment. Sissoko battling to win this ball and does so. Oh dear. Risky ball. And again it comes off of an Ajaccio player. Goes out for a throw in. I think we're going to have to make a change here. And uh, I think we'll go with, let's go with Troy Parrott up front and Harrington as the attacking midfielder. A player that likes to arrive late in the box. Maybe that will give us what we're looking for. He's a good passer of the ball as well. So Hassan to Van Balahem into Harrington. First touch on the ball for the Englishman to Sarnoon, Parrott. Already Harrington making a break through the centre, takes a shot and very nearly gets his name on the score sheet with his very first shot in anger in a Dunkirk shirt. But already you can see the difference that Harrington makes to this side. He bursts forward 
looking very much to act as a second striker. He's turned this 4-3-1, or the 4... Hang on, what formation are we playing? Let's have a quick look at this. He's turned this 4-2-3-1 very much into a 4-2-2-2 almost. Just gives us slightly more to aim at when attacking. Van Balahem, Sai, he's going to have a shot here. Takes a wicked deflection. And Leroy, in fairness to him, a wonderful save. A diving claim. Now he puts it up the pitch. Here's Gotteni to Sarnoon. Looking for Hassan. There's plenty in the middle to aim for. And he's missed all of it. That's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's a good runner. He's a good tricky player. But he can't pick out a pass to save his fucking life. Right, now we need to defend here. Bayala. Kutadu. Cissé should win this one easily. Here's Gateni over the top looking for Sarnoon. Gateni makes an intelligent run. Troy Parrott dummies his man, gets around him. Plays one into the box and Harrington's just too far behind it to make it count. Another one over the top, Guagra underneath, can't win the header. Harrington, get forward son, we need you up there. Oh, he's made a run from... I'll tell you what, if Parrott had got that pass away... Here's Sarnoon, into Harrington, oh it's just ahead of him and that will probably be the last chance of the game. It is indeed, it's a nil-nil draw for Dunkirk here, away from home at Ajaccio. It's a solid performance for the boys in blue. A few of the supporters will be slightly disappointed, they didn't make more of their chances up front. But it has to be said that of the two teams, Dunkirk were much the better value. Should we perhaps have taken that shot first time? It's the first touch of the players lets them down terribly at times. But look at that. There was only one team that was going to win it. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it count. Leroy with the man of the match, and you can understand why. Parrott and Harrington coming off of the bench to get sixes each. I'd say that's well deserved. Let's have a look at what the other results threw up today. Toulouse bouncing back from a 2-0 loss to us last time to beat Valenciennes by two goals to nil. Can winning their game 3-1. They're still in first position, I would hazard to guess. And we see them come to us next. Uh, Chambly winning their match and Nancy winning theirs against Pau. And uh, there are the rest of the results from the second half of the draw. Let's see how they affect the league table. And Dunkirk have risen a position into 15th place on 25 points. Three points clear of the relegation zone, but still two points away from their stated minimum finish position of 13th this season. Ajaccio maintain their position in fifth place, sandwiched between Troy and Chambly. And up top, you can see Can and Amiens are starting to run away with it slightly with Clermont. About five points behind the second place team. Well, it wasn't exactly thrilling in terms of goals scored, but I think it was a pretty decent quality game from beginning to end. There was lots of battle, lots of needle and uh, something certainly to uh, enjoy watching. Sorry we couldn't deliver any goals for today, but hopefully next time we can. Uh, speaking of can, I think that's probably who we're going to come back and see next. That will be the very next game, and it'll be tomorrow. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to uh, click the like button if you enjoyed the episode, and uh, if, you know, if you didn't, click the, the dislike button. You know, it's up to you. I, I don't really mind. Um, Comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the series so far. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>